Jensen, and that's kind of down the same line again, but this is maybe a more personal question for you guys, so sorry about that. But should the students talk about stress just be limited to the research that they're doing and what's happening in the lab, or how should they bring up topics like that if there's other things in their life that are stressing them out that are affecting their, their job or their research? And no, I, I don't think so. I, I think that in most research groups, um, your personal life is to some degree, sometimes to a great degree, um, intertwined with your work life. And um, most of your coworkers know some of your problems, if not all of your problems. And um, so I, I think it's perfectly reasonable for somebody to, uh, in, to, to, talk, to talk with their advisor about their stress level in their life as a whole. It doesn't necessarily have to be something that has to do with something that you're inflicting upon them with your expectations or something like that. It can be, it can be uh, a lot of a, a, an agglomeration of stress from different sources can lead to that. Yeah, I would agree. I think, um, I mean, I'm not sure that I could advise in all situations, but I do feel that when I'm stressed, it's not just one. I can't just say it's it's just my work. It bleeds into other parts, or maybe it's being impacted from another part. And um, if it was purely a work solution, um, which I doubt, um, then there would be you know, a solution that you could come up with your advisor about number of experiments, what kind of experiments, weekly meetings, somehow I just don't feel that that's necessarily, that may be good guidance, but it's not necessarily a great way to address um, how to deal with stress once you already feel overwhelmed. I think you kind of have to treat it holistically altogether. Um, and at least it's good for the advisor to know, because if you approach only your work problems to your advisor, but you have um, other issues on the side, then then it may not, well, then your discussion may not actually be helpful. So I would say give your advisor the benefit of the, tell, of the doubt, give them the whole situation, um, even if they can't at least help with all aspects, at least they'll understand where you're coming from. And, and that's just being honest and maybe being vulnerable, but I think that would be, I would really appreciate that because I would, I think, do my best to help um, understand the complexity of the, the situation. Yeah. yeah, I think it can really provide context for what's happening. I've had a couple of times when a student has told me something that's happening that's a stressful event that's outside of their life, and I'm like, oh, now the last couple of weeks makes sense. <laughs> right? And that's really, that's really helpful. I think all of us up here are parents. So that means that we've all dealt with stress outside of work. <laughs> there's, there's a, it's unavoidable. Um, so yeah, I guess I would, I would rather, I would rather have the conversation. Our lab has done a few things. Um, one was was talking, talking about it. <laughs> um, uh, there have been a couple times when we've talked about it at group meeting. Um, not just the presentation that I gave to my group, but also just other random times. Um, um, I, I don't do specific um, activities to target, um, to at least open the conversation about stress, but I do feel like um, because we're an experimental group, there's a lot of social interactions in our lab. And um, I've always felt strongly that I want it to be a positive, supportive um, environment. Um, because I think back to my graduate school days, and that was really um, important to my success, um, to feel integrated. So as an advisor, um, you know, we, we probably celebrate um, lots of things together, graduation, so, um, but I could probably do better, <laughs> I think. I think every group has get-togethers and whatnot um, to help facilitate more social interactions. Yeah, as far as social interactions, um, I, it's not something that I really have pushed very hard for my group. Um, I, I kind of feel like it should be, it should originate within the students in the group. Um, I, I have always found it 
to be uncomfortable when the social activities of the group are driven by the advisor, personally. Um, I think they're generally less fun when they're driven by the advisor. <laughs> Depends how much alcohol you provide. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and I think that, I think that there's, um, I don't know, I, I don't know that you can really, I think that sometimes those situations are just as stressful as group meeting for students when the advisor's there with the students. I think that, you know, it depends on how well you know your advisor and how, how you guys interact, but um, I, I have definitely kind of dreaded going to my advisor's house uh, to have some social activity because you always kind of feel like you have to, you still feel like you have to be on, like, you know, during that fun time. <laughs> so uh, for that reason, um, I, and, and also, you know, my own personal boundaries are that I try to enforce are that um, I like to keep some boundaries between my, my work life and my home life. And so um, I'm not, I'm not happy with bringing, having people to my house, because I like to kind of physically keep that separation. Um, so the, the combination of all of those things has left me where I, I feel like the, if it's a social thing that we're talking about for stress relief, um, I feel like it should be driven by the students. And, um, you know, I'm happy to show up for things like that if I'm wanted, but um, generally wouldn't stay the whole time intentionally. Uh, because I think that this, I think that it's, it's the students that should interact for that purpose. I, I think I make it worse. 